Hello there, my fellow timeline enthusiasts. Hello there, my fellow timeline enthusiasts. I'm here to give you a tutorial on how exactly all these, all this timeline shenanigans works. And I'm here in front of a live studio audience. Woo! Oh, thank you, thank you. You're so kind. Don't, don't keep clapping. Uh, I, no, I said, oh, there's no need to keep clapping. I said don't keep clapping! Psst. Oh, thank you, thank you, you're too kind! Anyway, as I was saying, I will be teaching all of you about how timelines work. So basically, to keep it somewhat simple, the way that timelines work is that when you create a timeline file, you obviously get the exe file, and what this does is it gives you the ability to view the timeline uh, along with the ability to enter the timeline. Those are the two main functions of your exe file. And what basically you can do is it also records a video log of everything within it. This is very good because it means that all timelines are viewable from the inside and from the outside, and you're very easily able to tamper with it however you want, as a, because they're there for your enjoyment for the most part. I mean, obviously there's people within them, but, you know. Anyway, as I was saying, um, these timelines, they're, they're very, very, mm, fragile. And the issue with many timelines is that they'll cease to work. You know what I mean? Just stop working. And when that happens, you can obviously just reset them, and that will normally bring them back to a fairly normal state. Except in some cases where they will become what is known as fractured in the timeline community. And a fractured timeline is a very, very dangerous timeline. It's essentially corrupted, and people within the timeline may take on new sorts of personalities, very specific ones. Normally they're all based around a theme, like, for example, you could have a timeline in which the Fractured are all based around elements, or they're all based around, hmm, just generally, like, things. They're based around things. You could even have a timeline based around the Seven Deadly Sins. You, you, it could be anything. But... The point is, overall, these timelines are dangerous, and they could corrupt your other timelines, and there's a lot of issues that could come out of this, and you don't want this to happen. Son, who are you talking to? Father, I am, I'm trying to make a... Uh... Anyway, anyway, back to what I was saying. There is a way, however, to fix a fractured timeline, and the only way to do that, to my knowledge, is to say go into the timeline and cease the existence of those who are fractured within it. They are the main source of the corruption, after all. And because of the fracture, you know, it, it affects them and spreads to everyone else. It, it's very complicated, and I'm probably explaining this in the worst way possible, because I'm terrible at explaining things, and maybe I shouldn't have a YouTube channel about explaining timelines and all the things within them, but you get the point. And um, I think there's only a few more things I have to say, but... We don't want to hit the video length limit. What What are you talking about? Our channel is still new. We, we can't make videos over 10 minutes. Has it already been 10 minutes? I don't know, but we don't want to hit that limit. Okay, okay. I'll, 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 I'll quickly try to get it over with. Basically, all I am trying to say is that timelines are a very finicky thing, and you should be careful while running a timeline. 
They're very enjoyable, but they're still very finicky, so... See you later, all you other dialogues... Yeah, I can't even talk, all you other dialogues out there. And, um... Enjoy your timeline. Mm. Bye. <laughs>